Today we lost a coach and a head of youth, but um, more importantly, we lost one of this club's favourite sons. Uh, if you define Celtic, or a Celtic man, Tommy Burns fitted the bill. He was a wonderful human being, and I think in life you really only meet um, really several special, special people, and Tommy Burns was certainly that. His football style as a Celtic man, his values, his standards, his integrity, his humour made him that special person. Being Tommy's mate is the best part of Johnny Celtic. And um, I, um, we're talking about legend here, but as I said all along, that people will be judged on not as a footballer. And uh, there wasn't many better than them. Um, but as a person, he's top of the league when it comes to uh, being a man. And uh, um, you know that, um, as I say, he's the top of the league being a man. And even yesterday, when I, I was with him yesterday, that he's. Um, his faith, is, his faith is incredible. That all he was interested in yesterday was making sure that Roseman, the kids, and and I was all right, and he wasn't thinking about himself, which is absolutely incredible. He was willing to, to fight on, and, and, and one thing so sure, he made sure that he didn't feel awkward or nobody felt that to feel sorry for him. That he was, he was, he was courageous, and he was, he was probably as brave a man as you'll ever meet. But the best thing I ever did was, as I said to you, one is. Um, uh, uh, I become a friend of Tommy Burns, but um, I think the most important thing I did when I come here uh, was make Tommy assistant manager. And uh, through his intelligence and sense, common sense and humour, he made me understand what uh, Glasgow was all about. Yeah. Probably if I didn't have him, I'd went off my head. But uh, he kept me sane at times. And. Uh, um, I just don't know what to say anymore. It's just, it's just a privilege to be in his company every day. And it, and, and and I don't know if anybody realises, sometimes when your relatives go, you can be prepared for it. You don't see them so often, but we work with this man every day. We laughed and joked with him. So he's been part of my life every day for three years. You know, so that's why we, we, we're, we're taking it rather hard at the moment. There's never going to be another Tommy Burns, you know, he's... Like I say, you can, people can talk about it all the time, and there'll be there'll be stories of what Tommy done. I remember one night before we played Kilmarnock in the in the cup, and we were, we were staying at Lock Green, and Tommy had five or six years up to about midnight talking about stories, and this was us sitting for nine o'clock, and I don't think anybody got a word in because it was just Tommy mm. telling the stories, and it was you were literally rolling about the, the floor in hysterics.